Okay, my manager has told me that this week we are doing reviews on Mr. Beast Burger. I had never heard of this place. Evidently, it's a burger chain named after a guy named Mr. Beast. I had never heard of him. He must be kind of a small potatoes creator. I mean, there's no way he has as many followers as me. My last video literally got 20 views. 20. I mean, somebody, can you can you pull up his latest video and just like put it right here and show how many views he's getting compared to me just so we can make the point? So there you go. He's getting this many views. I don't know what the M stands for. It must mean messed up, low quality, bad production. But I guess he's getting this many M messed up views. It's way less than me, obviously. Chances are this guy is small enough that you have no idea who I'm talking about. So let me just kind of walk you through the history of Mr. Beast and Mr. Beast Burger. Again, as I said earlier, Mr. Beast is kind of a nobody on the internet, but he started to gain a little bit more traction recently um, with videos of giving away gazillions of dollars, jumping off of cliffs, driving Lamborghinis into uh, garbage disposals that are specifically made to destroy Lamborghinis things of that nature, just really boring things that you really, it, you shouldn't be watching those things. You should be watching my channel where I do much more exciting things. And as all good YouTubers do when they reach his mediocre size, Mr. Beast is diversifying. And so he opened a restaurant called Mr. Beast Burger, which is a burger restaurant that he named after himself, which is a very humble thing to do. And if you haven't been following recently, there's a lot of accusations being leveled against Mr. Beast, but this is not a video about that. This is a video about Mr. Beast Burger and how funny it is that Mr. Beast tried to launch a burger joint that basically just has completely flopped to the extent that Mr. Beast, who as we know now loves to use lawsuits, is suing the company um, that set these up. So if you don't know what Mr. Beast Burger is, it's essentially a restaurant uh, chain that is not, it doesn't have physical locations as far as I know. It is essentially just something you order on Uber Eats you order from Mr. Beast Burger. It is literally made to be delivered to you from one of these delivery apps. And it's made in what's called a ghost kitchen, which is a kitchen that's run by spirits of the undead. And it's a very dangerous place to work. It's in a dangerous environment to work in. If you go into a ghost kitchen as a, as a physical human being, um, knives look like they're just flowing through the air, but it's the ghosts that are holding them. I don't know how we convinced ghosts to work for us, for money, that doesn't really make sense to me. It doesn't seem like they would need money where they are, um, but I, evidently times are hard for everybody, including spirits of the undead. And so they're working in these ghost kitchens, preparing Mr. Beast Burger. But in all seriousness, Jimmy, Mr. Beast Jimmy, is suing uh, Mr. Beast Burger or the company that's propagating it because of the inconsistency through Mr. Beast Burger. And this has been a very long intro to say, there are so many good bad reviews of Mr. Beast Burger. There are so many more bad reviews of Mr. Beast Burger that I found in like 10 minutes of looking than it would take me like an hour to find bad reviews of Taco Bell. That's how many bad reviews of Mr. Beast Burger there are. And so all that being said, I imagine that this is a two-part video because the amount of bad funny reviews that I found, it, it can't be contained in one video. Okay, so this is likely part one. I imagine next week or sometime in the near future is gonna be part two, but stick with me because these are so funny. Okay, first up we've got Brian and Brian says this. One star would be one star too many. What a dump. The burger I got looked like you took a McDonald's double cheeseburger, shrank the patties by 75%, cooked them until they were charcoal briquettes, and put a bun that would fit 10 burgers on top of it and called it a beast? Ordered an Aquafina and got a styrofoam cup of tap water. If you like food made for humans, don't waste your time with this garbage. Brian is obviously confused. It's just tap water. Um, sorry, Brian. Brian is confused because he thinks that this food is made for humans. Brian, it is literally in the name. This food is made for beasts. If you are not a beast, you should not be eating this food. It is not made for humans. No, but the visual that Brian gives us of eating two briquettes of charcoal surrounded by way too big pieces of white bread is incredibly funny and very well done, Brian. And as much as I can absolutely crush some tap water, I understand that if you ordered an Aquafina and you didn't get it, 
uh, that that would be a big deal for me too. Okay, we'll, we'll keep rolling. Next up, we got Tammy, and Tammy says this. Ordered from the one in Gettysburg, PA. WTH? Please don't waste your money. Ordered a dressed beast burger combo, and they didn't even dress the darn burger. When I say nothing, I mean nothing. Plain bread. Why have me pick what I want if you are not going to put it on the darn burger? Waste of money. Are you serious? I should have followed my first mind and went to McDonald's. You're lucky I have to give you any stars on here, because if I could, I would give you a negative 10. Thank you, Tammy. It seems that one of the big common accusations against Mr. Beast Burger is that the bread that they are using is literally just white bread that doesn't have any seasoning, isn't cooked. It's just like Wonder Bread that you bought and, and smacked a burger onto it. And I love how Tammy phrases what she should have done instead. She should have followed her first mind, but instead she was distracted by her second mind, which told her to go to Mr. Beast Burger. Something we can learn from Tammy, all of us. It's usually your first mind that you should go with. If your second mind starts to pipe up, if your third mind starts to whisper things to you, and God forbid, if your fourth mind says anything at all, do not listen. Always go with your first mind. Okay, so, so you get it. There are some genuine complaints about the food quality. That's why Jimmy is suing the company that has like expanded this so quickly because the consistency is just not there. And if you're Jimmy too, like you probably sue this company. That makes a ton of sense. But then there are reviews that are just so confusing that don't make any sense at all. For example, this one. Leah says this, I am Italian. No to pineapple pizza. And if you're confused, uh, there's a reason you're confused. They don't sell pizza. And I was, I was saying this review to my wife and she was like, well, double check and make sure they don't sell pizza. So I scrolled through their menu. No, they don't sell pizza. I don't know what Leah is talking about. I have no idea what she's talking about. I mean, <laughs> she ordered a burger because that's all you can order at Mr. Beast Burger. It was delivered to her. She bit into it and she said, this is pineapple pizza. This is disgusting. No wonder I don't like pineapple pizza. It tastes like a cheeseburger. Here's another great review from EDP445 who says this, says this in all caps. A man with short mustache was in my burger. And here's Jimmy trying to hide from this Chris Tyson situation, uh, which makes a lot of sense. I mean, I would try to hide too. Where else better to hide than one of the burgers that nobody is probably gonna order, nobody wants to eat. I mean, if I was Jimmy, I would be hiding in one of these burgers as well. Unfortunately, um, at this location, somebody actually did order that burger. And as soon as they took a bite into it, they realized that uh, Jimmy himself was hiding in the burger. One of my favorite reviews is from a user called Lifey. And Lifey says this, I don't like Mr. Beast. And I think that's fair enough from Lifey. Uh, but here's the deal, Lifey. It's actually, these reviews are not about if you like the person or not. It's about if you like the food. And so, did you even try one of the burgers? I mean, did you just evaluate Jimmy himself? Or did you even try one of the burgers? I mean, who are we kidding? You would not have liked the burgers either. That's fair. We can leave that review up. I don't think we need to take that down. Okay, this last one of part one is from our friend Vibe. Vibe says this, my mom ordered from DoorDash came with poor quality and no flavor in the fires or bougar taste disgusting. I will never be buying from any beast burger. I had so much hope and the bougar was upside down. A lot to say about this one. Vibe didn't order fries from Mr. Beast Burger. Vibe ordered fires and somehow DoorDash picked up an order of literal fires from Mr. Beast Burger, delivered those fires to Vibe, and Vibe took a bite of those fires and found them inadequate in flavor. So Vibe is very clear, the fires had no flavor. Now, the scientific miracle of somehow ordering a fire as an item to be purchased transporting it in a car, giving it to Vibe, and then having Vibe and her mom try the fire, taste, taste the fire somehow, and then be able to distinguish not just the burning sensation, but flavors in the fire is a scientific miracle. But the point is, 
Jimmy, if you're going to sell fires, put some flavor on them. Put some seasoning on those things. And she ordered a bougar. And we all know what bougars are because we all have them in our nose at all times. I try to keep my nose bougar free most times during the day. When I'm at work for a very long time around other people, I can't seem to do that as effectively as when I work from home. And when I work from home, my nose is basically bougar free all day long. And the reason for that is nobody is around to see me remove the bougars. And maybe the funniest part of this review and what we'll end on is the bougar was upside down. So obviously she meant burger, okay? The burger was upside down. Um, I don't think this is actually a valid complaint about a burger. If you open a fast food bag and the burger is upside down, uh, let me show you what you do. You just kind of, so watch, it's it, it's kind of in the wrist motion right there. And then the bougar is right side up. So if the bougar comes upside down in any fast food place that you go, this is good advice, not just for Mr. Beast Burger, but any fast food place, they might put the bougar in upside down. Watch again, watch the wrist, ready? And then the bougar is right side up and everything's fine. So vibe, that is the part of your review that I find most unlikely to believe because you, you can just you can just flip it right side up, okay? I just showed you how to do it too, so I expect you to learn from that. Okay, listen, if you're still watching this video, I love you more than Mr. Beast loves views on YouTube. Do you understand how much that means I love you? Mr. Beast's entire life is dedicated to getting more views on YouTube. I love you more than he loves getting views on YouTube. That's terrifying. You should be scared. Anyway, thank you for watching. There will be a part two to this. It's just, there's just too many good reviews for me to make one part. So there's going to be a second one. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next Friday with another video.